This is starting to look a little bit like Inception. This is awesome. How's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can get really surprisingly crisp and smooth slow motion without having to use a Phantom or any type of slow motion camera. There are a couple things you need to bear in mind and do when you're filming to make sure this effect works as good as it possibly can. First things first, you wanna make sure you're filming in 4K and in the highest possible frame rate that your camera will allow you to do. Ideally, 60 frames per second minimum, anything higher than that is just gold. The second thing to remember is don't necessarily rely on the 180 degree rule. If you don't know what that is, basically, generally speaking, you want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24, you want your shutter speed to be 50. But in this case, motion blur is actually not gonna be your friend here. It's actually gonna maybe hinder the image. So if you can, bump up that shutter speed by quite a lot. Not necessarily required, but it might be able to save you. And thirdly, you want motion that is fast enough, but at the same time, not too fast. And definitely things that are not too jittery because that's just going to make the effect fall apart. Cool. So once you've gotten your footage, open up Premiere Pro and let me show you the rest from here. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you open up your project is you want to make sure that your timeline is a 24 frames per second timeline. I've set mine up to a 4k timeline, but it can be 1080p if you prefer. We got two clips that we're going to be working with today. Bow shot at 4k at 120 frames per second. One is a a guy jogging and the other one is of a jet ski just shredding it on the water so there are two ways you can do this effect both really easy so the first one is if you want to change the entire clip all you got to do is right click go to speed duration that's going to open up this little window here so to get that super super slow motion like as if it was shot like a thousand frames per second you want to go down to one percent and you want to go to time interpolation and you want to switch that to optical flow and that's going to make the entire clip one percent now, generally speaking, if you play it right now, it's gonna be really odd and jittery, easy to combat that. All you gotta do is sequence, render in and out, let the computer do its thing, and bam, <laughs> inception, <laughs> that is so cool. It's not perfect, as you can see. There are a couple of little, if we just drag this out a little bit, there are gonna be certain parts that are gonna look a little bit weird. This is probably where having a higher shutter speed is gonna help out, but as you can see, this is, this is really, really good. Let me show you guys the second way of doing this, which is a little bit more fun. So here we're gonna use the jet ski clip. So all we're gonna do is go to the effects over here and time remapping speed. And then we're just gonna drag this up a little bit just so we can see what we're doing. So this is if you wanna select a specific part of the clip to slow down instead of the entire clip. So let's find a moment that we think could work. So here he does a little bit of a jump and then he lands. I think I want it to slow down the minute he lands. So we're gonna hit a keyframe right here. And then because this is so slow, we don't want it to be that long. So we're just going to go there Then take the middle section here and drag it all the way down to 1%. Now we want to do the same thing. We want to go optical flow, but we just keep the speed the way it is. And if we just want to smooth it out a bit, like any speed ramp, we can go here and drag this out a little bit, play with it. We don't need to go too crazy on that because this is just a little experiment render, just like we did in the previous one, let the computer do its thing and bam. <laughs> what? Honestly, editing just gets more and more fun. The better these programs become, they just become, it just gets so much fun. And honestly, it is as simple as that. It's that's really, there's nothing else to it. It's just optical flow, speed duration, done. I just wanted to show you a couple of little examples of things that you want to avoid and a clip that was filmed at 60 frames per second, just so you can see how it looks if that's the highest your camera will allow you to do. Already slowed down, not color graded or anything. This is just an example just to show you what it looks like. This is a clip that was shot at 60 frames a second. I, I don't even know. I mean, it's honestly, I'm, I'm speechless. I would still recommend if you have 100 or 124K, go with that. But if 60 or even 50 is all you have, still do it, man. It's so good. Obviously, it's not going to replace a Phantom, but it's... It's scary close. Now, I just wanted to give you one more example of where things can go wrong. So I wanted to try something with uh, heavy, heavy rain just to see if that could slow it down. And I actually cranked up the shutter quite a bit. It was really dark and whatnot. I thought I did everything right, but this is what happened. So it's not gonna work for everything, but the fact that it's working with jet skis going at 70 miles an hour is pretty good. I bet if you did it with a car and maybe tried to avoid the wheels, you could probably get a really similar effect. There's just certain things that aren't going to work. So rainfall, a deck of cards with loads of jittery stuff. I tried another clip over here of a fly just flying off. It didn't really work. It was close, but it didn't really pull it off. So there are going to be some parts where it works, other parts where it doesn't, hence why it's not going to compete with a phantom. But hey, if you're in a situation where you just want to get some slow moving stuff and it works, 
some clips are just going to really surprise you and you're going to get some really, really cool results. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to subscribe if you want more of these kind of videos and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out. Actually, no, I'm going to have a good nap.